socks. I have here a beautiful Lockwood lock and key from something called 406 Franks. I don't know if it's Frank's house or Frank's locksmithing. Lock's a little wobbly and the, the key, um, well, the key either was impressioned or has just been used all to hell. It's really smooth and, I mean, there's just no sharp edges left on it, so I suspect it was just, um, it's a very old lock and key. It's seen a lot of, it's seen a lot of use. It's a good thing. Good for it. But today, we're going to see if we can open it. Now, one thing I noticed when I was using it with the key is that the cylinder really wants to be back in there or it doesn't really work right. So, maybe pushing on it occasionally, but let's just uh, have a brief brush through here and see what who wants a little loving. Um, the locks from this lot all are very similar in age and well, something just fell out of that, like a little set of flower or something. Um, and uh, the ones I've worked on so far have been, um, other than the Yale we saw earlier, and I don't know about it, but the Lockwoods have all been master keyed. I don't know if they're all part of the same system or what the deal is, but maybe we'll do some forensics later and see what happened. See if she'd like to go the other way instead. Or maybe I'll get a kinder, gentler binding order. Or the tension wrench will cause me to scream at it. Got a good view there. Yeah, you got a nice view. You see everything going on in there. At least as bad as well as I can. Okay. What's that plug moving around on me? I don't like that so much. That means I'm getting a lot of bullshit feedback. That could be why the pins seem to keep wanting to bind one, two, three, four, five, and then nothing happens. So I'm using my thumb, my right thumb, to press in on the on the uh, front of the lock on the plug. See if that helps keep everybody in line, as it were.
it is master keyed. That theoretically makes it easier to open. Well, not theoretically, it does make it easier to open, technically speaking, because there are multiple shear lines. However, it also means you get feedback from each pin potentially multiple times, which can make it more confusing. So, you tell me if it's easier or not, I don't know. There it is, open. Six minutes, that's not so great for a standard issue pin tumbler lock, but it is open. Uh, and it looks like I hit a different shear line than the key. It's not surprising because we do know that it's, or we do believe that it's master pin. These are kind of interesting little mortise locks. They've got this relief here. It's almost like a like they started making a rim mortise cylinder and they're like, no, 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 we need a mortise cylinder. So they threaded the rest of it. It's probably to save metal. So, and um, I don't know. I'm not sure if this little strip comes out or not. Looks like it might. Anyhow, lock her back up. Put the uh, key back in. Which of course now doesn't work at all. and jiggle. Well, we'll work that out later, but anyway, that's it. Anyway, um, this is Alex. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Always have fun and keep it legal. Cheers.